Hi, I'm Ellen from E Squared Homeschool. This is the fourth vital sign that we'll, we, we will be doing. It is blood pressure. We have already established how to do palpatory systolic pressure, so that won't be seen in this video. However, if you need to refer back to it, you should. Introduce yourself to your patient. Hi, I'm Dr. Katsowitz, and you are? Michael. Okay. Tell Michael what you're going to do. I'm going to be taking your blood pressure, Michael. Make sure that you get the right blood pressure cuff and the two tubes are over the brachial pulse and they're tangle free. Before you start pumping up the bulb, you need to tighten this valve over here. Tighten it clockwise and make sure it's tight enough that you can at least release the valve when it's time to do so. Now, you've already established your palpatory systolic pressure, which in this case was 110. So you add 30 millimeters of mercury to that, which makes it 140. So what you're going to do is pump your blood pressure cuff up to 140. Make sure you put the stethoscope on correctly, which means the ear pieces have to be pointed toward your ear. The bell or the diaphragm of the stethoscope has to be placed over the brachial pulse. Make sure that you have access to read the gauge. I'm pumping it up to 140. Now I am slowly releasing it. This is very difficult to do, so you have to practice because it has to go slow. Now what I'm listening to is the first sound, and that is called the systolic pressure. Keep on listening and keep on releasing. And eventually you do not hear the sound any longer. You note those two numbers. Make sure, take the blood pressure cuff off immediately so it causes the patient less discomfort. Go ahead. In this case, Michael's blood pressure was 122 over 76, which is considered normal. Remember, the systolic number is the top number and the diastolic number is the bottom number. So he fits in the normal range. Are you okay, Michael? Yes. Okay, this concludes our video on blood pressure. For more information about our curriculum, visit our website at esquaredhomeschool.com. Students, Practice until you feel comfortable enough to complete this skill without using the checkoff in the book as your guide.